in movement as it were. That's gorgeous. Mullins had always painted thoroughbreds. In his early years, he concentrated on the animals and landscapes of rural East Anglia. But it was his equestrian pieces which caught the public's imagination. Why did he paint so many horses? He was fascinated by the anatomy of a horse. And in fact, he read Stubbs' book on that title when he was very young. And he also actually studied horse skeletons, skulls, for instance. But the more important reason is that he was good at painting them. <laughs> what I like about this particular study is that you can see the tension in the tendons exactly. and sinews of the horse. You can see the flared nostrils of the horse. Yeah. But more importantly, I think, you can see the tension in the riders themselves. Mm. And the fact there's one broken horse to the left adds a bit of interest to the picture. It always happens, doesn't it, on a line And again, you've got a nice, subtle skyline. 